Good corporate governance is vital to a strong national economy. Unless people can transparently see what is happening in an economy, then they can't properly calibrate risks and opportunities. Uh, so right around the world, we see patterns of investment going into economies that have good governance and transparency and can offer people reassurance. Uh, that's something that as Prime Minister in Australia, we were always very proud of in our nation, but something you've got to keep building because, of course, uh, norms and expectations about what good governance is changes over time. For Australia, the real implication of the Brexit vote is not so much a trade implication. Whilst, of course, we do trade with the United Kingdom and for us, it's the mother country, uh, our trade relationships now are very diversified and much of our trade is in our own region of the world, uh, particularly with China, but not just China. And of course, we have a strong trading relationship with the US. The thing that I think is most uh, flowing through Australian political discourse about Brexit is the sign that it sends that around the world there is a lot of disgruntlement with the impact of globalisation, a lot of turning away from internationalism and ultimately that could affect every nation on earth as people seem to be losing faith in global structures. I think that Asia's rise continues to present a major economic development opportunity and I think that will be a feature of this century. It won't be just a smooth growth path, there will be turbulence and there will be setbacks, but China's rise particularly, its growth and development uh, along with other Asian nations is creating uh, the most moneyed middle class, a sizeable moneyed middle class that the global economy is going to see. So the middle class of Asia Asia will be more in number than the middle class of North America and Europe combined. Now that gives huge opportunities because middle class consumers uh, want things. They want uh, uh, things to uh, furnish their dwellings with, they want a good health care, they want good education for their children, they want great financial services, they want tourism opportunities, they want good food, they want wine and the list goes on and on. Uh, so for a nation like Australia this is a particularly uh, rich opportunity given our location in the world.